Hey, buddies, Potemic Whiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Transport Tiger or Transport Tiger and Transport Fever. Um, I've, I've I've hit this kind of wall. I can't I can't make more money. I don't know what I've done wrong. So I'm gonna start stripping back uh, unprofitable services. For example, this. I'm gonna say go ahead and sell all of these. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start cutting back on anything that's not profitable is being cut essentially. Um, so it looks like all these bus routes, maybe they were a little bit ambitious. So I'm going to say, get out of here. You're costing me money and you're not really making me money. We're going to keep the tram routes for now. Um, I will keep, I will keep the actual bus routes layout, but they will, um, they will not be, uh, they won't have any vehicles on them. So I'm just trying to start to cut costs and see if I can really hammer down what's costing me money. Um, I could even potentially go through and delete some of this railway track, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping that cutting out some of those costs will increase our profitability. Cause if we look down here, it's like, Jesus, man. It's like, we're not, we're barely scraping by here, you know? It's a rough life. Now, a couple of these unprofitable ones I will be keeping. For example, this food route, because all it does is it is a feeder to increase the throughput. So is there any, there is some um, commercial industry that isn't being caught by this. I was hoping the commercial would grow out this way, but it looks like it grew out this way a little bit. Um, if I were to grab some road here and do this sort of thing would i increase the catchment of this a little bit no it looks like that didn't really help much but i mean occasionally we're making money like we're just we're just barely profitable <sighs> but it's a it's a tough old life like i really need to get this train upgraded but i can't afford it um right now I need to have how much in the bank to buy this guy? 687k. But I'm not even sure he'll really help. He would actually, he would speed this up tremendously, which I think would make a difference. I'm gonna stop off here and ba bam. So once I have enough, I'm buying them. This uh, 2820 Baldwin, he gotta be replaced here soon. It's October, we're making money. Uh, so I need 687,000 to buy him. So I just have, kinda have to wait. Now I did cut down on my unprofitable routes, so I'm hoping that will actually change the, um, cause if you look here, the road vehicle cost, they were costing me nearly a hundred grand a year each. Um, so I managed, I, if, if I, my, my logic here is if I cut them out, that might save me enough. Let's have a look at these trains also. These are pretty profitable. They kind of vary whether or not they get two trips or one trip in a year. But yeah, you can see the, the running costs are, are increasing to the point where it's almost not even worth it to have these trains going anymore because they're they're reaching the end of their life here. Um, it's 24 years old and this train, phew, it wasn't designed for that, that long a service. Oh man, we made, made almost no money last year. It's getting, it's getting kind of scary. I might even go bankrupt. I don't even know, dude. I don't even know. Am I, pl am I playing this game right? I don't know. How much is this train carrying? It's carrying a decent amount. Not too much. Uh, not too little. Um, Fort Lauderdale. How are you doing? If I could just get this, if I could just get the bigger train, it would make such a difference. Um to this route because the speed, the speed is the big thing. If I could, if I, if I could get this train moving that little bit quicker, the goods would arrive quicker and its profitability would increase. I think, I think that might work. So I'm kind of praying, hoping, hoping I can pull that off. And then the train would be more frequent because I think right now it's like, it's 11 minutes between, between routes, which is pretty damn slow. So 400k, he's going to load up. Yeah, these trains need to be replaced. I need five million. That's not going to happen for a long time. 
Could I replace it with maybe a cheaper? That would be half the price. Okay, yeah, maybe we'll do that first. Um, okay, so we should almost have enough now to go in here and buy the Baldwin. I'm hoping when this drops off... Oh man, I'm so close. Damn. These trains need to be replaced soon. They're going to get really, really expensive to maintain. Food is getting moved out, though. Yeah, this is what I'm worried about. They're hitting their lifetimes. They need to be uh, retrofitted and replaced, because uh, even if we look at the finances on them, look, you can see the um, the expenses is creeping up there to the point where it's not going to be profitable to maintain them. Let's have a look at your finances. Yeah, look at this. Your profitability has dipped significantly. But hopefully, hopefully you can bring it back. He's starting to carry more goods. That's good. Um, so after this trip, we might be able to make this train. Ah, oh, God damn it! Can I afford to, to not replace these? I don't know. I'm just gonna bank it all on the food, on the food line, and hope that that works. Um, so the oh, a lot of waiting here. I, I might even do more time lapse stuff on this series. That was a pretty cool experiment that I wanna I wanna play around with. But it's almost been 50 years and we haven't really changed our infrastructure or built anything new in a long time. Which means we're not doing very well. Maybe I should have played on easy. <laughs> if I, I should have played on easy, maybe. Uh, I would have probably made it a little bit, little bit um, less challenging and I could have got off my, my, my feet off the ground. This is like, a, I'm, I'm definitely not very good at this game. I'm going to I'm gonna come out and say that, no problem. I, I, don't, I don't actually know how long I will make this series. Uh, probably as long as I can keep it interesting. I don't even know if I'm interesting now. I mean, <laughs> goodness gracious, who wants to watch trains go back and forth while I beg and pray that I make enough money to, uh, to buy a better train? Um... Oh, 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 pause. Oh my god, my... Uh, are you joking me? That's absolutely horrific. My money dipped up to seven, seventy, seven hundred k and then, um... Just... In in the couple of days, uh, uh, like an... I don't know, a, a, an upkeep tick hit. Okay, we got the train. We did it. We did it. This is an expensive thing to do. But I'm hoping it'll pay off. I'm hoping it makes this train significantly faster, particularly going up this hill. So for example, when it got to these lights, it was going about 30 and only really starts to pick up speed. So we might be able to see if we can pull it off. Try and bring this goddamn place up from the, uh, up from the brink of uh, destitution. So I'm going to need you to go into this... Um, into this depot. It'll take you a bit of time to get over there. Even just the acceleration alone, the fact that it's only hitting like 30 at these lights is pretty sad. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm praying, I'm begging. Let's see it happen. Let's see you get sent to your home. I'm gonna turn you around once your ass is passed here. Past this line. And boop, then I'm going to turn you around and send you to the depot. Then we got to go in here and we're going to be switching out what's happening on this front. Okay, in you go. We're going to pause here. We're going to sell you. Uh, we're going to put you down bottom, actually. And then we're going to add some of these bad boys. Back onto this, we're going to set you to this line. All right, and let's check out the speed. Let's hope the power, the acceleration. Look at this, coming out the gate, 20 kilometers per hour, no problem. Because if we look at the, the actual stats between these guys, this guy has like almost double the pull of this guy, and he's only a little bit heavier. So look at him, 
Loading up. All right, he's out the gate like a racehorse. Got that 20 kilometers per hour. I think 20 is the maximum you can do when your ass is in the station, but he's already up to 30. Yeah, look at this. Look at this pace. Gallop pace. All right, I'm hoping, hoping the profitability now on this train four uh, reaches a point where it is worth it for me. He's got some speed. Damn, that, that's actually a pretty fast train. It's already up to 40. Yeah, it's already going faster than the maximum speed of the other train, which to me is like, you know, the endorsement that I need, that this might have been the right decision. He hasn't quite hit his maximum speed, but that's okay. As he's going downhill here, they might pick up a bit of speed. Yeah, there we go. A little bit of speed down the hill, hitting that 60. 520k, hey, that's a higher income than it was. Uh, now the, the real te litmus test is if this will be a significant improvement over here. Let's have a look at your finances. So you are definitely profitable. Alrighty. So it looks like this guy, might have, he's already on 30. I remember the other one was going like 20 here. He's got some pace up that hill. So this looks like this might have been the right decision to upgrade this train. Now we need to save up to upgrade these passenger trains. Um to better trains if we can manage it. 190k, so the faster trains do make more money. Um, so it looks like he's gonna hopefully just work away, keep bringing in money for us. You can already see our profitability has significantly increased since last year. Because that train moves so quickly. Uh, now these trains, all right, let's have a look. I need 2.5 million to replace these trains. With these moderately better trains. Um, will I do that? Yeah, I think I might do that. So how much are you carrying now? So you're carrying significantly less. That is the downside here. The big, the dream would be to connect up this city. That's what I've been wanting to do for a long time, but I just do not have the finances for it. It's a, it, dude, this whole transport gig, it's a tough job. I don't know how these guys did it back then. If this is anything like reality, and trust me, it probably wasn't because like you, you couldn't just like drag out a piece of rail on a map and then you were good to go. You had to like hire, you know, potentially thousands of people to fucking move that earth by shovel, um, by the shovel load. So Fort Lauderdale, how are you feeling? Oh, your demand for food has actually decreased. Yeah, it looks like your commercial zones took a hit there when I changed um, some stuff. I was hoping that this 10 million loan would be enough. So he's got 350k there. So are you are you still profitable? Yeah, you're looking good. Yeah, look at that pace. You're way better. Way better now. Because if we look at the frequency now, the frequency used to be 11 minutes. It's three minutes faster, which is definitely improving the profitability. Um, so the big thing is now to get these guys to be upgraded. You're gonna drop off a bit of money. I'll head up to that 600k mark. Oh, then the year ticked over and we had to pay insurance. Oh man, another new train. This is the Mogul. Let me have a look here. What are you? You're nearly a million. But well, you do go 75 kilometers per hour. Damn, I wish I'd saved up for you. But we're gonna just have to live with what we have right now. So are all of our lines profitable? The only one that isn't is the food truck line, but that's a necessary, that's, I think that's a necessary loss. Um, we got rid of the unprofitable bus routes. Our road vehicles are very, very, very slightly unprofitable, but, that, but I think that's an acceptable level of unprofitability um, because they're doing an important service, which is increasing the amount of food that Fort Lauderdale demands. So the big thing is now we're going to want to save up and improve these guys. Um, 1.4 million per vehicle. Go for the general. Yeah, I guess we just go up to the general and then hope that that increases the profitability to a point where... Um, I don't know, it's hard to know. These guys are fairly frequent though. Maybe I could have added more trains to this. It's hard to tell sometimes what I could have done. 
another 500k drop. So this, this train is now carrying us pretty well. Um, doing a really great job being profitable. Fort Lauderdale, how are you growing? Growing pretty well. Let's see, is there a lot of people being picked up and dropped off here? Mm, not really. How about over here? I think I'd, I'd say there would be a decent number of people being picked up and dropped here. And how about over here? Yeah, you can see there's quite a decent number being picked up and dropped. Just about enough. There we go. Okay, so how much do I need to replace you? More, I guess, more than I have right now. We are making... We made 800k last year. That's actually... Damn. That's uh, that's pretty nice. That might have been because two, two of these train loads landed. Uh, I could actually repay here and just get out of paying like and save 8k in, in loan interest, which, you know, I guess is is a decent little thing to do. Not too much food landed over here. Okay. How is West Valley City doing? We're moving almost 70% of the people uh, use our tram lines, which is really awesome. It's really awesome to see. It means we've set up a really good tram line. And that's that's the general principle. I think I think I have the general principles down. I just think my execution is poor. I think those road vehicles held me back. I think I maybe went into buses too early. I think the whole tram route thing is better. Um, just do a centralized tram route down the center of town and then let people use it at their leisure. So this guy's about to do another deposit. Look, we saved 8K off of this, so we're kind of tricking the game a little bit. Um, so he's gonna deposit off a bunch of stuff here. 400K, not bad. He's gonna pick it up and then drop it off over here. So really what I'm trying to do at this point is bank up money. Now I could do more time lapsey stuff, but I think the game is more interesting if I just try to play through it. Plus this is actually really good practice for me to practice trying to carry a um, uninteresting gameplay through talking and you know just talking and saying what I feel like and just narrating what's happening. Some people will probably not find it interesting. I don't expect this series to get a lot of views and I don't expect this series to actually have very good viewer retention. This is honestly I'm kind of seeing this series more as like a um, a test of me being able to pull through when the gameplay isn't uh, stellar. Now I'm actually having a really good time playing this but um, it's tough like this is a challenge like you know this is like going to the gym and, and uh, getting your ass kicked to figure out how to fight sort of thing, uh, comparatively. Ooh, okay, so I want to do some road upgrades here. Oh, I would kill a lot of buildings. I don't want to destroy this, I want to upgrade it. That's a bit silly that you can't upgrade that, but whatever. Live the life you want to live, my dude. Kill a lot of these buildings by upgrading these roads. They should upgrade their roads on their own at some point. All right, have you got a big load on you? Oh, you don't. It looks like we're hitting our throughput maximum here. I, you're still profitable, though. Ooh, maybe not. Could I make, like, a little train, and all it does is it goes back and forth between these two shipping food? I could try that. Hmm, I don't think that would be worth it. I think the big thing is getting these upgraded because these guys are their their expenses are getting out of hand. So replace now. Okay, but our profitability is oh goodness. Oh we're losing money one year, gaining money the next. That doesn't look so great. Um, I don't really, it's, it's, 
it's hard to know what to talk about here because the gameplay isn't super interesting. Like, I'm gonna be totally honest here, like there's not much happening. I'm pretty, it's kind of waiting simulator. I definitely think I should have played on easy and I'm kind of repeating myself and I'm going over topics, but that's kind of like, you know, this is, again, oh, this is like gym. This is like gym for, uh, for let's players. You gotta like really, if I can, if I can keep people watching a series as uninteresting as this, then I'm doing something right. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting the hang of it. I'm starting to figure it out. I'm getting down to the nitty gritty. We are going to be wrapping up this uh, episode here soon, and uh, I might even scrap this particular playthrough. Uh, but I'll have to think about what I do. Hmm. It's hard to know exactly what the best way to do things is, but really, I'm just caught because I can't, I can't take out more loan, but I need more money. Um. So it's like, what do I do? What if I were to just? Not enough money. God damn it! Just give me money. I feel like I, I feel like I'm doing a good job. I'm just not getting rewarded. No, I was gonna repay half a mil. Save that extra interest. I like banking that money. You run over here and drop off your cash. Um, looking good. So, hey, this is down to eight minutes now. That's not bad at all. Five, yeah, look at these guys. These guys are getting slower, I think. They used to be four minutes or something between each route, and their profitability is dropping. Um, these tram lines are good, though. They're still making a little, just a little bit of money. Not a huge amount, just a little bit. 700k, we're gonna repay 500. Um, so now we have a million in the bank. So potentially we could upgrade one of these trains. Just out of curiosity, how much would it cost me to replace this vehicle with a um, with a mogul, two point five million. That's outrageous. This train isn't even that old. It shouldn't even have to cost that much. What I could have done is probably replace some of these grain cars with more of these food cars, so more food gets dragged. Um, but I mean, you know, I think I'm doing a good job. Profitability issues. So how much is it going to cost me to replace both of these trains? I think I have to... I think I have to go for the big one. Because that's the only way I get more profitable. Is if I stick the bald one in here. Two point five million. Hmm. It's hard to know. It's hard to know if that's the right move to make. Cause like, really, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm really struggling here. Like, let me look at some of these costs. So my railroad costs are 1.38 million per year. That's just for ra That's just for the rail. Um. That's like just for the trains and stuff. Is that is that right? And then the property maintenance is like a hundred K. What if I were to scale back on some of these guys? Can I save some money here by killing some of these guys? Kill off a few of these guys. It's gonna cost me a little bit of cash, but I'm hoping that that will bring my property maintenance down. Thus, in theory, improving my general profitability. There should be more bus routes over here. I think I think I had the right ideas, but I think it just didn't work out for me. Yeah, I'm gonna kill this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the FL bus lines and I'm gonna just uh, delete them. I'm going to do the same for these bus lines that have nothing on them, just to clean up the list. Um, I think I think they were some of my biggest mistakes was trying to do these bus route things. Otherwise, I think I've I've done fairly well. I think um, oh, what's this? It's like a big residential building. 
It looks like this is an extra bus station over here. We'll get rid of you. Oh, I don't quite have enough money. Need to wait for a train to arrive. Yeah, profitability is weird. I'm not sure if we're going to be making money, guys. And then... Kill these. Okay, is there any more stops I need to delete? Looks like there's one more over here that I can get rid of. And now I'm hoping... What's my property maintenance? I don't even know if that helped my property maintenance at all. But, you know, fingers crossed, maybe it'll help. Whew. Train running costs, man. They're getting out of hand. I accidentally deleted something. Grand Rapids, Fort Lauderdale, did I, de I deleted a piece of road or something? Where did I click? Over here somewhere? I, I can't believe I did that. I accidentally clicked somewhere and deleted a piece of road. And I can't see where it is. Was it here? Okay. Hey, go be country road again. Don't be that kind of road. Be country road. Boop. Alright. Back to speed. Uh, you know, instead of like accidentally deleting pieces of road. I mean, I guess, could I set up like little mini, maybe small profitable routes somewhere? I don't know. Could I set up like a car route from, a f from this farm over to here and then deliver? I could try it. I could set up like a car route. Oh, I don't know. Where's my cash? Where's my cash flow? This train is landing. All right, so he's got a—he's actually got a decent number of stuff on him. Um, 300k. Oh, we might actually have enough. How much is it to replace these guys? If I go into the route, five point. So I need like two and a half million to replace one of these trains. God, that's a, that's a lot. I am going to be able to repay some more of my debt here, which is a save up. Um, I mean, I feel like we're more profitable than we were, but again, we're just not making nearly enough. Boom. Okay, so we're down one and a half million. What I might do is I might play up until 19, the 1900s um, off screen and see if I can just improve things while uh, while we're off screen. Um, I might, I'll make like a save and if I can't significantly improve things, then I'll start a new game on easy while I'm still learning because I'm, I'm struggling here. Anyway. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to give me your direct support. Remember to leave a comment if you want to give me some feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.